All right, what's this one? Wow. Okay, so he has a large incisional biopsy. The epidermis is necrosed. Everything. This is like mummified, yeah. right? It's like mummy skin. It's all dead. Crazy. Yeah. Everything's dead. There's something weird on top that's not part of... It's like some sort of... Um, yeah, it's maybe a little further up. Let me see. They're like these little... Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, I wonder if that is. I wonder if it's like, um, I don't know, but I, I would imagine it's a globules of something that they've topically, like a topical agent they're putting on these big, huge ulcers, I bet. Yeah. And also sometimes anytime you see a big, huge ischemic ulcer, like an, this is like a skin infarct or an eschar, right? The whole thing is just dead. It looks like the same as a gangrenous toe would look. It's all dead. You can often see also thick layers of bacteria and fungus growing over big chronic ulcers, ischemic ones, and also ulcers like in pyoderma gangrenosum. I see that many times, and I think that that's totally a secondary overgrowth of like candida and skin flora and doesn't have anything to do with the etiology. But just FYI, that can look really weird when you see it. But if it's all just on the top, that's not what's causing the problem. And here's the key, right? Yeah. Or even small, yeah, the little vessels a lot of times, right? Yeah, small, medium, but the tiny ones and the fat lobules are also yeah. filled with the calcium deposits. And this patient, of course, must have chronic renal failure, or almost yeah. certainly does, right? The vast majority of them do. So this is calciphylaxis, and that's exactly what you're looking for. Ischemia and the severity of it will depend on where you biopsy it and on how long it's been going on. This is a really dramatic, like end stage case, you know, where the, their skin is completely dying. Obviously, painful black purple areas that become eschars and, and infarcted ulcers. And then on biopsy, you're going to see the calcs, and they can be either little, this is really well developed. It, we rarely get it this good, but little rings of calcium around small to medium sized vessels. You can see it in the thicker muscular vessels, but ideally, I want to see it in these small vessels. That's what, to me, if I see it in bigger vessels, and that's the only thing I see, like I said, you can see that in monkey bergs. But anytime I see any calcifications in the setting of a chronic renal failure and a suspicious clinical thing, I take that very seriously and worrisome for calciphylaxis until we can prove it's something else. So um, then the other thing is that sometimes it's hard to find or you don't even find it in vessels and all you can find are little tiny fragments of it in the subcutis um, in between fat cells along little septa. Here's a little vessel right here with a ring of cr crumbled calcs around it. Yeah, so that's calciphylaxis, really serious, obviously. And very, very dramatic example here.